Hi uh, there. Uh, this song that would be playing normally right now, which is the DOS version of the Star Wars opening theme, got the video muted and I had to re-upload it with my own commentary over it, unfortunately. Uh, you've pretty heard, much heard the Star Wars opening song many times. This video was originally uploaded like May 1st, 2011, and but it was a re-upload of something else, which is probably like... Okay, let's just say it's about fucking four years old or something. I don't know. But um, what surprised me the most is that they are so anal, I think it was like SME or something, that they muted the DOS version of the fucking song. Like, they just don't want anyone to hear it. And the worst part is um, that it's a 30-minute video that you're about to watch, obviously. And, like, the entire thing gets muted. It's all the commentary, and like, YouTube does not allow me to just edit out. It, at least that there's, you're supposed to be able to edit out just the song, but the feature doesn't work properly, so... Uh, luckily, I did find uh, an older version of my recording, and so I was able to uh, kind of just go edit it out myself and, and paste this off, obviously over it. It's literally just this song that it has an issue with. It's it's the fucking strangest thing. Oh, well. Uh, I do hope you enjoy. This is one of my childhood favorites, and uh, uh, let's get back to the Let's Play. So, uh, take care. Forces. Okay, this is what we're doing now. Oh, another thing for day. Okay, we don't need some credits. Um, so I have done most of the game on hard, so I'm I'm not confident I can do it on uh, except for some of the last missions. So I'll, I'll show you when we get there. But this is actually a pretty uh, crazy game. So this mission, you can just read through the background. I'm not gonna read too much about that. Uh, I've already mentioned the Death Star plans and crap like that. So we're we're grabbing some of that and. We gotta return to the ship. Okay. Now, it may immediately remind you of Doom, but it actually isn't the Doom engine. Uh, so you get your pistol and you get your fists. <laughs> and the very first guy gives you uh, an even more powerful weapon. So this one is like basically the very accurate pistol. And this one's like a very fast weapon. So at close range, this one's better. Anyways, this is a, a really crazy uh, uh, Star Wars game. I, I I really like this one. I played it a, a lot as a kid. Um, it's actually it's actually still really cool though. Um, I I it's it's actually aged fairly well. And uh, I was going to play like an engine remake of this game, but uh, that's not quite done yet. I don't know. There's, there's secrets and everything, but uh, I don't know much about them. It, regardless, it's actually a fairly difficult game. Um, there's actually, uh, if you look at the bottom left corner, the green means uh, uh, shields, red means health. Um, health is, is depleted when it's, um, you have no shields obviously, but also when, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, cool. There's little TV screens everywhere. I don't know, I always like the, the little details like that. It always feels very Star Wars-esque. Anyways, the, the health is depleted when someone punches you, which uh, doesn't happen until much later. I'm just gonna explore around a bit. And there's also like jumping and everything, something that Doom didn't have, but it does have a lot of the issues that the Doom engine had, like um, it can't do perspectives, like you can't really look down. Um, this is fixed later though, because in later iterations, but still it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, um, you can mistake this for the Doom engine very easily. And I always thought it was until I read about it. Rumor is that they actually like stole, like de decompiled the Doom Engine or something. I don't know too much about it, but it's a really, really fun game. Like it's by uh, uh, Lucas Arts, and they uh, they make actually a, a lot of really cool games. They kill that guy for better. The little mousey thing. All right, and then we just open this up. And we we want to get a lot of ammo because it's this is like our only weapon right now. This is like one of the best weapons. It's just it's just you know you're all around kind of when you're at close range. It's gonna take everything out. Okay, I'm going back up because there's actually a secret that opens up. That opens. Badass. Okay. 
Uh, I guess I'll take out these guys on the stairs. However, there's a doorway down here. It's, it's like multiple paths. Like it's it's like a very kind of unlinear uh, shooter game it's, and the Star Wars shooter game nonetheless, which is actually really cool. No, no, no dealing with like Jedi's or any that kind of shit or force powers, which kind of I don't know. Um, as of late, they've they've really gotten gone overboard with that kind of crap. So, there's a lot of shields and things on this, these things, oh, and I totally fell, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, all, you saw the shields all over the place, but I have, like, I'm already maxed out. It, this game actually has mouse support, which is actually, uh, surprising. Oh, and you can shoot me. This, this level's, like, really easy. They really don't stand a chance. <laughs> like, really don't stand a chance. And this is actually kind of cool. Death Star, but it's like a 3D hologram that you can step into. How much time got put into that? So this is like 1995, okay? This is like 15 years ago, and this is like the coolest shit in the world to me. Just standing inside the standing inside the hologram of the Death Star, like what the fuck? <laughs> There's a lot of little cool things. Like I don't know. I guess I always thought that for some reason this was like Vader's desk or something. It's not, it's something else, I don't know what it is. But anyways, here's the Death Star plants in this weird room. It's too easy. Now I get to my ship. Oh, they actually hit stuff behind here. I didn't even realize that. And more guys. The difficulties basically range, they just make more enemies. Uh, when, like, that, that's all they do. Um, hard just makes the most enemies. And you'll see why it gets really bad later on, like... I, I will not spoil the details of the mission in case you've never seen this and you're kind of like engaged in the story here. Also, oh, there's a, there's a ship. Like, cool shit like this. I don't think the Doom Engine was really capable of this, which is why it's like they, uh, they edited it out. Anyways, this is the thing from the beginning. This is actually how he came in. Like that. Anyways, uh, you, when you're done, you just say next mission. It's cutscenes. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. The Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's war will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. I know the music skips a bit, I don't know, it's some kind of DOS emulation glitch. This is actually on Steam, by the way. Um, it may take some configuring, though. Uh, if, you, if you just look at the Dark Forces form, actually, they have they have a good configuration set for, uh, you know, you can play in window mode and some other stuff. It's pretty neat. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay.
attack base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack, except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new stormtrooper that can take out a rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Yay! Jan's the pilot, by the way. Okay, guys. Uh, so this mission is... Uh, so we gotta go into a outpost. By the way, if you don't read these, um, which I never did, uh, you <laughs> get really lost in what to do. So I already know what to do, though. So it's fine. Like you have to restart a uh, hydroelectric um, power generator, find some clue to uh, the dark trooper, and go back to the landing area. We don't have a lot of uh, time today left, so we'll just um, briefly uh, finish up. I usually use that use that other weapon just to. Uh, I don't know, snipe at long range. That is what it's good at. It makes three really accurate shots, and the rest is just like, you know, just total rape at close range. Oh, no. They shot me. But yeah, in hard, you kind of have to be a little bit more careful. Most of the time, you don't. Because the, the enemies are like, kind of like Doom kind of style enemies, as I said. They're not the smartest in the world. Just get the shields here. I love the music. The music is absolutely insane. All right, and here I can actually you have you actually have a headlight, um, which that's the map. Oh, there's the map. There's the headlight. I don't really need to pick up all this crap. Maybe I do now. <laughs> all right, uh, now we have. Oh wait, I thought there was a shield there. Apparently not. Alright. Now, since the power's off, you can't actually open the door that you saw. But you can jump down instead, that's what you're supposed to do. Which, of course, there's a whole bunch of crap other guys. And the simple action of just... You see, I can't open it. I just tried. And I'm just gonna hit these guys from range. That literally is your best bet in a lot of cases. It's just use your most accurate weapons, except that that's not actually hitting it. Alright, then we go across here. And it's, I don't know, it's got a little bit of auto-aim, because it, this is made in an era that was meant for, like, keyboards and, like, keyboard controls. I can actually literally control with a keyboard. I don't know if you notice it, but, uh, that's keyboard. Now this is an interesting room. <laughs> they just line up. I, I, have, I just killed, like, an Imperial army just for this one mission alone. Let's, just, let's actually turn on some lights. Oh, dead corpses. There's no real, um... There's no real blood, because it's like a Star Wars game. It's not, it's not like a horror fest, but, you know, it's, it's like a... I don't know, they got a little bit of, like, a darker side to it. Did, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> this Star Wars game. God damn it. And they still, they, the batteries, that's where the batteries come in, because the, most of these things take up a lot of, uh, battery. You get other things, like, like, uh, there's a gas mask, uh, night vision goggles. And then that's it. That's the power generator, and everything's magically on. 
it's the power generator and everything's magically on. Actually, let me see if there's anything around here. Besides you. Oh, I found infrared goggles. Uh, that would be this. I don't know how that's infrared. Those look more like night vision goggles. I don't know, you guys can be the judge. Anyways, let's go back up here. But, and now all the lights are magically on, so... We're all good now. Well, let's find some of these places. And now all the dwarves work as well. That we... These guys are annoying. Bad guy's annoying, who would have thought? I don't think they respawn, but sometimes I, I do actually think they respawn. Like, uh, it obviously... On, on Doom on its, on its hardest levels would have respawning enemies, but I don't know, this one doesn't seem to. At times. Okay, that's just the water, in case you fall. Because you can't actually fall. I'm just getting rid of these guys. Oh man. They are doing a number of my shields, and you notice how quickly I'm actually dispatching of them. It's not easy. It gets even harder later, because some of the weapons are really cool, but uh, really deadly too, because everything, everything that you have, they can basically have. It's a pretty consistent universe. Those guys are accurate, but they just die so easily. There's no point in having them. Alright, and we also have a map key, yay! I don't know why, but... Oh well, yeah, it's, sorry, it's, it's ex exploration, of course you'd have a map key. And then here you just like, just spam them in range. Got one. Or I can just wait until I actually get there. Who does that? Actually, I'll... So you notice how that bridge just goes all the way around. And that's how you get to the other side. Uh, let's get one more shield thing. I just noticed that the head head weaving was off. No, no, it's actually on. Okay, there. No, it is actually on. It's when the gun like bounces back and forth. They actually have a hotkey to save the life or something. I'm not authorized in that. Blah. But you know, if I try looking up and down, just watch what happens. It looks kind of screwy because it just can't do perspectives properly. It just kind of tilts everything, as if you were kind of I don't know. It's it's like a gigantic camera, not like an actual like. Oh look, I changed where I looked at. Kind of makes it interesting. Okay, we can go in here. It's a blown up thing. And here we have health packs, which we evidently do not need because we're just raping everything. And you go in here, but if you go want to go through the door, it's a crazy door. A very crazy door. Yep, so we ain't going through that. Oh, more guys. <laughs> I, they're pretty easy to deal with in the, like this early on in the game. It's just like Imperial officer, officers and crap like that. And you know, Stormtroopers. They're like Star Wars red shirts, basically. Always dying. Yeah, what's the point of making like a billion of these stormtroopers if like they can't hit shit? There's, there's been some defect in, in the way they were constructed. Or cloned. They are cloned, right? They established that. So here we got a big ass room. I'm just getting the guys who are closest. And this is where sniping comes in. Which is not really working, so let's just go that way. Because I don't want to be opening that door the entire time. They're fairly accurate though, actually, when I'm up close. It's just when you're far away. I just love, love how you can just switch weapons. It's kind of cool. Like that, the, the method in which it does it, it has a lot of personality, it feels like. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, too. And here's some more crap. I don't know if I'm. It doesn't actually let you know if you picked up secrets. It's kind of weird like that. Here's a dark cube weapon. Hey, you can just jump outside. Why not? Hey, you can just take the river so I don't have to kill anyone else on the way back. Of course, there's, there, there, there's gonna be people who just respawn, I think. I can't see them now. 
Uh, we could take that path, or we could take the river path. It's actually faster to jump in water, can you believe that? Can you just imagine that? <laughs> it's, uh, what, what's his name? Michael Fel Phelps or something? He jumps in the water. <laughs> the Olympic gold medal. I can just jump across. Whee! I mean, this is a fucking graveyard, look at this. It's ridiculous. Alright, so we go into here, and there's actually two things. There's actually an extra life here. Um, extra life mechanic actually is kind of interesting. Um, you don't quick save or anything during the game. Uh, what actually happens is um, you just have extra lives. <laughs> that, that's that's all there is. And you just respawn immediately from where you are. When you run out, when you run out of lives, um, then that's then you're done. Like uh, the, the mission is over. And the re and actually it's it's actually interesting because it makes the game kind of more challenging in a way. Believe it or not. Uh, because then you don't have like checkpoints, and if you fall on a on a jump, that's one of your lives gone. That's it. So on the harder difficulties, you better not do that because <laughs> you, you can't spare the lives. Okay, so the next mission is we found a weapon. It's for use by a dark trooper. It's a symbol MR. Uh, it's a guy who makes weapons for the Empire. And as I said, just pause it and read all this. So we just gotta find him. Now this mission can be a pain in the ass if you don't know where you're going. I'm gonna just pretend I don't, because I could just skip most of it, just because I know what I'm doing. Um, or maybe I don't, and I'll just get confused. And he, there's all these robots everywhere. Droids, or whatever. I don't know what the hell they call them. And those guys explode when you kill them. <laughs> it's not fun. The, the, actually, those bots, uh, their weapon penetrates the shield and it goes right for your health, but it doesn't do that much damage. Okay, and now we have our one of our first weapons, bombs. And there's a sewer monster in here. Not anymore, there isn't. Alright, and we go over here because there's actually a... You can crouch, by the way. There's a bunch of bonuses here. But... Not really anything, because we're right now like maxed out on everything. And there's those, and they have like a lot of Star Wars esque robots. There you go. See, I lost like 40 health because of uh, no, sorry, 20 health. I can't count. And so, what the whole uh, gimmick with this with this level is is um, it pissing me off because I'm just spamming crap everywhere. No, um, there's this main room which has a sewer thing, and see, there's like different levels of it. So. What we actually want to go to is the top level. I already know where to get that from, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make it a surprise here. That's the problem. When you when you play this level before, it kind of gets easy, in that sense. And I can just put on my night vision. The advantage of the night vision is, as you would expect, uh, the fact that, uh, they can't see your lights on. Of course, these enemies don't actually care about that. They can already see in the dark. That's okay. We're just gonna keep going around. There's there's a bunch of various rooms with uh, bombs and other crap, so we're just picking up. We're just farming items basically at this point. See, I now have like 12, 12 thermal detonators, which is you know, as I said, if you're into like the Star Wars universe, you'll recognize basically everything from one of the movies. I'll just turn off this stupid stick. I hate these things, they're so hard to aim at. I, I suppose that is the point, but... Whatever. So now we're back here, yep. and... These guys... are dead. Okay. But the one nice thing that this, this level does have is that you can get a lot of power cells, which is used for other weapons, which we won't be getting until like at least the next level. It's kind of a it's it's kind of strange. It's like a progressive story based Star Wars game, which is like you know something you'd never really see much of because it's only one company who can make Star Wars games. They're not really allowed to license. Like they can't use the characters and stuff. It's kind of strange. All right, let's go back up. 
Now, the second ro the, the second room, which is like over there. This guy's annoying. That actually goes straight to the main chamber, but we're just gonna go right to number three. Because this is actually the this is actually the one you're supposed to go to, I think. So what you do here is, once again, the mechanic is. I don't know, I guess they were really impressed with this back in the day. You just lower the water. Oh look. It, I, it probably was really hard to do. Like, I mean, I know you didn't have much things like that, I think. They just had platforms. That was their main competition. It was obviously Doom style. Everything was Doom. I think everything now is a Doom clone as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. Oh wait, um, wait, I'll, I'll go show you guys. Uh, no, I think I did this wrong, actually. Uh, maybe it's the last room. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. Okay, we go down, and we're in this weird-ass room, but we're gonna skip out of here because there is nothing in there. And we go here, and this is once again them liking the mechanic of this water or something going up. And now we're like over here, so we're gonna go turn on lights. And deal with this place is, uh, there's a lot of monsters in it. But if you take this path, the path less traveled or something, uh, get ammo. Yay! I don't know if this feels like more like a walkthrough than a let's play, but well, I guess they're kind of the same thing. Do whatever, think whatever. More of those things. But this is what happens when I've played the game very re extremely recently. Alright, we're done with this place. The one disadvantage about the IR light, uh, the IR things is, uh, P like, it wastes batteries so much faster. The battery is over the ammo, which is the 301. That's how much ammo I have. This thing happens to use two shots for every shot, so... But it fires a lot faster, which is the main advantage. Alright, let's go in here then. Actually, no, I was going to show you guys the other room. What am I doing? Okay, we skipped the second one, because I was like, yeah, it's not even bothered. What the fuck? Okay, well, the guy got in my way. Well... You can go there, or I can press this. Oh, wait, right, that's how you do it, I think. Uh, let me go figure it out. Yeah, this, this is where you're supposed to go, that was weird. Don't, I don't, don't even ask me. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> and we meet our a new enemy, which is the, uh... Those, I don't know what the hell they're called. If I go to here, there's a secret, I think. Yep, right here. I pretty much know everything. And we get a revive, which brings all our health and shields to max. It's nice. No, no, you don't kill me. His only melee, his only attack is a melee, so, you know. And now we go up. Now, these guys can be super annoying. Oh wait, I, I've actually never seen what was in here. Nothing actually. Whoa. The control kind of feels a little funny, but it's a, it's it's good control. Now these guys are really friggin' annoying. Mostly because they throw bombs at you, and they're very accurate with them. I don't know. They they didn't really take the time to code anything that would make maybe miss half the time. I don't know. So they're basically 100% accurate on muscle movement. In which case, they fire they fire at where you were. Which I guess makes things a whole lot easier. And those doors are going crazy. Hey guys. I haven't really bothered using the bombs or anything. At least I should. No, not really. Oh, well, he's got lots of guns here. Guess we're in the right place. He's surrounded by interrogation bots. Whatever the fuck these are. It's kind of like the guy who designed these, I guess. Here he is. He's carrying a gun, though. You're the boss now. Alright. That was a simple mission. Uh, I'm actually going to cut it off here, but I'll show you briefly what the next mission is going to be like. Um, he designed the prototype weapons for the troopers. Uh, we're going to find metals or something.
So we infiltrate, yeah, so the, sign, the temple of the metal they're using and then return. So that's it for today. Um, I know it's a bit of a weird older game, but you know, it's, I think it's a lot of fun. So you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.